Cześć! Tonight I am cooking dinner and I am going Polish. So I've got a few to try. First up, in English, it is a potato croquette with mushrooms and cheese. And in Polish, krokiety z pieczakami i serem. Then we have square potato dumplings, which is kopytka. Yeah, that's what that is. And then we finish with pierogi z mierzem, which is meat pierogi. So there's two different ways we're cooking. Uh, we could fry these, but it's unhealthy, a lot of oil. So these are going to go in the oven. I'm not going to do all of them because I might want some lunch tomorrow. So we're going to have two each of these and they're going to go in the oven for 10 minutes. In you go. Then, the, the bigger pierogi, they are going in the salted boiling water for 10 minutes. So how many each? Three each. Let's chuck them in and hope I don't splash. One, two, three. Then the square pierogi will go, square dumplings, sorry, they will go in for two minutes at the end. We're going to see how they taste. Now, I would say I appreciate these are supermarket ones. They're not freshly done, so there might be a taste difference. So we'll find out. So the main course, the potato croquettes, the pierogi, and the potato dumplings. Let's tuck in, what are we going for first? Should we go with the potato dumplings? Because they look sure. the most intriguing. We are obviously being nice and sensible using knife and fork. Oh, potato dumpling, you've gone for croquette. Uh, okay, sorry, yeah, well, all right, we'll go for potato dumpling. Okay, it's, now obviously it's been boiled, so it's quite soggy looking. It does kind of taste like mashed potato. Just in a bit of a weird form. Mm. I think I, we should have fried these, maybe. You, there was the option. Maybe the other half we'll try and fry for lunch so, tomorrow. Yeah, it's quite mashed potato-y, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah, not bad. It's a little bit firmer in the middle, but inside... Well, sorry, it's a little bit firmer in the middle, it's but the outside... It's the same taste as mashed. Yeah. Just not the texture. But I think that's because it was boiled, because it's the water on the outside has made the outside quite fluffy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, which one now? Let's the go. The one in. you've cut. <laughs> so this looks really, really good. There's a little bit of cheese in it. I'm just going to show everyone. So there's a little bit of cheese, uh, and then there's the mushroom. It looks really they good. They smell very similar to something we had in Poland. Can't remember. Okay. Outside's good. It's not crisp. It's not like really crispy. Quite nice. Tastes mushroomy. I don't know if the cheese... I'm not really getting the cheese, I don't think. I'm getting a lot of mushroom flavour, which is fine, because I really like mushroom. As I said, it's not a crispy, it, it's quite a... It's quite a um, soft... soft it's texture. nice though. That's pretty decent, isn't it? Mm. That's pretty good. Okay, pierogi, meat pierogi. They never say what meat is in it. I look like bacon, but I don't think it is it's bacon. It's definitely not bacon. I expect it's maybe a pork. So let's get this in here. Now we have tried actual uh, dump, uh, pierogi from Pierogania, which is in Wrocław, and they were incredible. It's pork. I can tell by the smell. Mm. Very mm. porky. It's okay though. Mm-hmm. It's like... Hmm. I'm gonna say it tastes like the inside of a sausage roll again. Yeah. It just does taste like a sausage roll. But that's the easiest way to... But we did say that. most similar for us in flavour. Yeah, the pork is very sausage roll-y, if that makes sense. If you go to Greg's or any other... The outside's nice, though. Yeah, like, so I wasn't sure, because it's boiled, I wasn't 100% sure, because I'm thinking when it goes boiled, it goes a bit soft and a little bit mushy. But actually, I it's really not bad. too bad. I think they could have a bit more filling in them. Because I think the it, it sort of it's like it's got the air bubble in there, 
And then you cut it open and it's it's almost too thin a layer of It's a flakes of a little meat. bit, doesn't but, it? But I would like ooh. the only thing I would say, and maybe that's me as a person, yeah. I would like some sauce of some variety. Okay. So the packet of the the square dumplings, mm -hmm. they showed some sort of gravy, but we weren't really sure what gravy it was. No, we didn't want to just put like Bisto with it no. if it's not the right thing. So we're going to finish this up and then we're going to go for some fruit dumplings, which I've not had yet. Every time I go to Poland, I'm like, I must have fruit dumplings and I never get round to it. So our first experience will be supermarket frozen ones, but better than nothing. So we're going to tuck into this and we'll see you in a second. For dessert, we are going for pierogi ze troskawkami, which is pierogi with strawberries. These take seven minutes in salted boiling water, so let's get them in. Uh, it's another one. I, it's a lot in this packet. It's a lot in this packet. So we'll do three each again, shall we? Let's do three each. Uh, try not to splash myself. One, two, three. One, two, three. Right, we're going to leave them for seven minutes and we'll see you when they're done. Right, seven minutes is up. Let's get three each on the plate. One, two, three for Charlie. I'm so, oh, I'm not sure how these are going to taste. I'm really excited. Like I said, I bang on all the time about having sweet pierogi and I haven't got round to it until now. So I really hope these will be good. Let's get tasting. Let's get tucked in. They're probably still quite hot. I don't know if it's like a pureed, oh, it is like a pureed Yeah. Straw. And then there is solid chunks. There is, is some that? solid chunks. Yeah, yeah, there's some solid chunks. Now these smell incredible. Smells like proper mm. nice cooked strawberries. There is a big chunk in there and then there's sort of the puree type. Okay, I haven't go. got to a chunk yet. Not far not. That's good. Mm. Mm. That's very really yummy. That is delicious. I want to try something. Hang on, bear with me. I reckon these would be good with just a little bit of sugar on top. Would you like some sugar on top? Oh yeah, go for it. Uh, I reckon that would just help really well. Strawberries are always better with a bit of sugar on top I well. think so, but these ones are really fully packed. Unlike the meat ones, which I mm -hmm. didn't feel like had enough meat in, these have like these are rammed. You can see it all coming out. Mm. Mm. Okay. Right, what I'm going to say, you know, pancake day. Mm -hmm. So Polish people have Fat Thursday, or is it Fat Tuesday? Um, and one of them. And we have pancake day, right? Yep. It almost reminds me of pancakes. I agree. And I know it's a slightly different texture, as in the pierogi are a little bit soggier, should I say. Mm -hmm. But it just reminds me of that, especially with the sugar on top as well. But these... They're mm. so good. Mm. The strawberry... Mm -hmm. That's what I was just going to say. The way the strawberry's gone in the middle... Packs mm -hmm. a punch, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely packs a punch. Right, we're going to finish this off and we're going to give you our verdict. So the final verdict, what was your favourite and least favourite? The sweet pierogi. The sweet pierogi, yeah. And what was your um, least? My least favourite, I think, was the croquette. The act Okay, so the round croquette. I think it was okay. just slightly too mushroomy for me. See, I quite like the mushroom. I, I would prefer if it was crunchier. I would say my favourite was the strawberry pierogi. That mm -hmm. was, oh, delicious, so delicious. And I, I really do think that if that was made fresh in a restaurant, uh, with seasonal fruit. Mm -hmm. Maybe a bit of cream. I would have liked maybe a little bit of cream with it as well. I'm surprised. I am surprised how much it did remind me of pancakes from, mm -hmm. you know, English pancakes, yeah. like crepes. I, I, I'm surprised how much it reminded me of that, but it, it did. So that was my favorite. I would say though, the, the square potato dumplings were my least favorite. I don't think, I thought they were too mushy. They were a bit too bland. I think we should have fried them. So it does sound yeah. packaging. You can boil them or fry them, but boil them came first, so we assumed to boil them. Maybe we should have fried them because actually, with a bit of crisp, maybe yeah. they would have had a different texture. Yeah, maybe they. Yeah, they. Yeah, they wouldn't have been that soggy, which I didn't like. Which actually, you probably would have liked the more crispier, like an actual chicken. Yeah. At least we know that the Polish shops 
uh, that do the frozen sweet pierogi at least, and actually mm -hmm. the meat pierogi, do a pretty decent job. Mm -hmm. Not quite as good as pierogania, which True. we had in Wrocław, because they were stuffed, weren't they? They were really stuffed full of meat and whatever that was inside them. Uh, but these weren't. But they're still okay. They're pretty good. As I said, the actual texture of the pierogi was very nice. Mm. I'm happy with that. Well, there you go. What do you think of our selection? What do you think of our dinner? Do you like those things as well? What do you think of sweet pierogi? When I'm next in Poland, especially if it's summer, must have sweet pierogi from a restaurant fresh. If you enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe and go to Charlie and Rob. Uh, that's our other YouTube channel where we go on our trips. That's our vlog channel. And we've got plenty from Poland and other countries. So thank you so much for watching. Do widzenia. Bye.